Hey guys, it's me again, and I am going to do a video on showing you how to use the curling sponge. And I know I used the curling sponge in my first video, but I'm just going to do a more in-depth version of it. So, right here, I just got my curling sponge. As you can see there, I got my Africomb, I got my hydrating thing, but you can also use gel. I got this t-shirt, cotton, and I'll show you why I'll use that later on. So now you're just going to pick out your hair. Now I'm going to go rinse my hair. I think I got water in my eyes. So now that I got the water in my hair, I kind of look like I'm crying now, but I'm going to get my 100% cotton shirt and dab it on my head. And cotton is actually very good for your hair. And if you use a towel, it could cause breakage and it won't be as curly. So, yeah. Now when you're done patting your hair so it's kind of damp, uh, I'm just going to get my hydrating thing. Uh, if you use the gel, you'll have to put a leave-in conditioner and then put the gel in because it locks in the moisture and for longer lasting curls and this one it already has the moisture and like the gel kind of mixed together and stuff so you don't really need to do that so yeah and it helps using the gel and stuff because if you don't use it when you curl your hair throughout the day it could unravel so I'm just opening the mixture thing and I'm putting it on my finger and I'm just rubbing it through my hair, like so. So now that you're done rubbing all that thing in your hair, I'm just grabbing my curling sponge, and smaller holes make smaller twists, and bigger holes make bigger twists. And my curling sponge is smaller, and they range from five to ten dollars on Amazon. So that's a very good price. And I'm just putting it on my head in a swirling motion. If you do it lightly, you could just get curly hair, as I'm showing you right now. But I want to show you how to get the twists, not the curls. I'll make that in another video. So I'm just going to speed it up, and I'm just doing that motion. I'm just going to make breakfast or do whatever you want just to let your hair kind of dry a bit and then you could start curling again. And this is something really good to do before you go to bed. As you can see, the, my twists are getting in. And I forgot to mention, when you wet your hair, it curls a lot better. So it'd be better if you wet your hair. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this really helped you. Please subscribe and comment down below for some video suggestions.